everyone, it's Cupcake here. On today's show, we're featuring the My Little Pony Royals. So it's a collection of all the princesses and of course, a queen. She's the queen of evil. Nonetheless, she is a queen, Queen Chrysalis. So here she is starting off with our smallest nesting doll. It's Queen Chrysalis. Here's Princess Twilight Sparkle. She's got her crown on. Queen Chrysalis goes inside Twilight Sparkle. Here's Nightmare Moon. She's actually Princess Luna, but she's turned evil. Let's pop her open. Twilight Sparkle goes inside Nightmare Moon. Here's Princess Cadence. Nightmare Moon goes inside Princess Cadence. And we have Princess Luna. She's back to normal. Princess Cadence goes inside Princess Luna. And finally, our biggest nesting doll is Princess Celestia, Princess Luna's sister. Princess Luna goes inside the Princess Celestia nesting doll. And let's give them a shake a shake to get some magic going on. Here they are. Let's get inside and see what magical things they brought for us. Let's open up Princess Celestia first. Let's take a closer look at her. She's got a cutie mark and a whole bunch of sparkles in her hair. And you guys know how it goes. We're gonna give her a magic shake. A shake, shake, a shakety shake, shake. Whoa, uh oh. She knocked over Princess Luna. And what did she bring us? She brought us a Pinkie Pie Rads dispenser. And what else did she bring us? Oh, she brought us some unicorn poop. Plus, it's scented. And it has rainbow sprinkles on the inside. So that's the color of the unicorn poop. And what does it say on the back? If you ever step in this pink sticky goo, never you fear, it's simply unicorn poo. Squishy and pink strawberry muck and the rainbow sprinkles are always good luck. All right, we can go for some good luck. Let's get inside the unicorn poo first. Oh, it's really, really slimy. There you go, we got it out. Ooh, that's a pretty color. So pearlescent. And check out those sprinkles. Who ever knew unicorn poop could be so magical? But it is unicorn poop after all. Let's give it a smell. Ooh, that smells so good. It smells like strawberry shampoo. It's not stretchy, it's really, really squishy and slimy. And jiggly too. Whoa, look at that jiggle. <laughs> okay, so let's put the unicorn poop aside. Get inside our Pinkie Pie Rats dispenser. So her little tongue pops out and she gives us a candy. And you can collect a whole bunch of other ones too. There's Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, Twilight Sparkle, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, and Applejack. So the main six. So let's see what's this. I'm sure it comes with a special little prize for us. Yep, it comes with a little poster of Pinkie Pie. Here's the back. It also has secret limited edition characters. That is cool. So here's Pinkie Pie. She's also got a keychain. You can put her on your backpack, on your keys, wherever you want to put her. And these are pretty easy. You just twist the top off and you get some candy in there. Here's your candy. Let's get some in there. Ooh, there you go. So it doesn't fit the whole pack in there. We still have that much left over and we have a full Pinkie Pie Rads dispenser. You just put her mane back on and you twist it. And then you just, oh, whoa, you stick her tongue out and she just shot out two rads. Shot out a red one and another red one. Let's try that again. Oh, there you go, that's a better way. So let's try this out. We've tried this out before. They taste like runts from Willy Wonka. Hmm, it's pretty good. The green flavor is probably watermelon, not apple or lime in this. Okay, so Princess Celestia brought us some awesome prizes. Let's see what Princess Luna brought us. Pop her open and give her a good shake. A shake, shake, a shakety shake, shake. Oh, whoa, she brought us a whole bunch of stuff too. Let's see what this is. It's a Shopkins Happy Places. And it's one of the new boxes that changes into a little kitty. But this one is actually not a kitty. We got a little bunny this time. Okay, so let's get our little bunny ears out. There's one. And there's another little ear. 
And I think there's something on the side that we gotta pop out too. It's our little hands. Let's get our blind bag out. And our tile, ooh, we get a cool looking red one. And now we can pop out her little hands. There you go, our box turned into the cutest little bunny. So inside here we can find a limited edition petkin. Let's see, can we find it this round? Let's get inside our first blind bag. Oh, it looks like it's a juice box. Next bag. We get some puppy french fries. I think those are french fries. Nope, that's some kind of smoothie. And our very last bag. Let's see what's on the inside. This one has the most stuff in there. Oh, we get a plate and a little petkin sandwich. That is adorable. So looks like we got some stuff from the Hungry Puppy Cafeteria. We got the roll on plate, except our plate isn't gray. It's the purple one, but our sandwich doesn't have the red ingredients inside. It has the green ingredients on the inside. Here's our juice box. And finally, this was a fruit cup. What else did Princess Luna bring us? She brought us some mermaid mug. Oh, some more crazy slime. So this one is also scented and it comes with shells and fishies. Look how pretty that is though. That is some really shimmery, pretty mermaid muck. Let's see what it says on the back. Gathered from the floor of mermaid caves, this slimy mess is how mermaids play. Shells and muck from 20,000 leagues below make the perfect mush for any mermaid you may know. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Let's get on in and try out our mermaid muck. Look how pretty that is on the inside. We got our little shells and fishies right at the edge waiting to come out. Here it is. Ooh, that is so pretty. I'm guessing it smells super good too. Look at all the sparkles on the inside. Here are the little shells. And we got little fishies on the inside too. They're super tiny. So fun to play with. Look how jiggly it is. Ooh, that really does look like mermaid muck. And now let's give it a smell. Mmm, I wouldn't say this one smells too good. It doesn't smell like strawberries or anything that I can think of. It kind of smells like what you would smell in a swimming pool. It smells a little chlorine-y kind of, like a swimming pool water. So it's actually perfect for mermaid muck because they're underwater. Princess Luna had some great surprises and we got glitter all over our hands now. Let's see what Princess Cadence brought us. Let's pop her open, give her a special magical shake, a shake, shake, another shakety shake, shake. Whoa, what just fell out? Let's see, it's a Whisker Haven Palace Pet. So we get one mini pet on the inside and each of these little guys belong to a princess. Let's get it out and see which pet we got. Oh, we keep getting this little monkey. It's Niall and I don't know whose pet this is. So if you do, let me know in the comment section which princess it belongs to. And what else flew out of Princess Cadence's nesting doll? It's a kitty in my pocket. Let's see which two little kitties we get. So here's our two little kittens. They're so precious. Oh, especially this one. This one's really playful. He's on the ground and he's rolling around trying to be super cute for you guys. So this little kitten is Mittens, the snowshoe. And this little chubby one is Pickles, the American bobtail. Really cool surprises, Princess Cadence, I do have to say. Now it's Nightmare Moon's turn. Let's pop her open. She's tiny, but of course, you know, she has something under her sleeve. Let's give her a magical shake, a shake, shake, and another shakety shake, shake. Whoa, Whoa that was ginormous, and she knocked over Twilight Sparkle. So what did she bring us? She brought us a Fluttershy Rats Dispenser. Nice. I thought maybe she would bring us something super crazy, but this is pretty cool. Let's get Fluttershy out. And take a look at the back. She's got her cutie mark and little wings too. We didn't check Pinkie Pie, there's her cutie mark. Let's see Fluttershy's poster. There it is, that's a pretty cool looking poster. 
so we already know what these taste like, so we don't have to put them inside Fluttershy. Let's just get to our next surprise. What? Okay, so Nightmare Moon did pull a little prank on us. We got Fairy Toots Putty, and it comes with a toot tube. Scented Mythical Noise Putty. Looks like a mess on the inside. I don't know what to expect. It says, if you suddenly hear the sound of flutes, it just may be some fairy toots. A purple mess that's left behind proves without a doubt of this magical find. So fear not and squeeze hard in your grip and don't be afraid to let it rip. <laughs> okay, so fairy toots are actually fairy farts. So I don't know what this is going to smell like. All right, this is different looking from the mermaid muck and the unicorn poop. So this is putty. It's actually thicker than slime. It's super thick than most putties too. Let's get our toot tube out. And it's got some instructions on how to use your toot tube. But I don't think we need those. All we got to do with our putty is fit it in the tube and it's gonna make a whole bunch of noises for us. So let's take a closer look at the putty first. It's got a whole bunch of glitter in there and it's just like any other putty. It's not stretchy, it's just squishy. Let's give it a smell. Oh, this one actually smells really good. Who knew fairy toots could smell so good? It smells like banana candy. All right, you guys ready to get this inside our toot tube? See if I can fit it in there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fairies, those are some noisy toots. Okay, so that's about as much as I'm gonna try to get in there. And look at her face. She knows she made a boo-boo. So Nightmare Moon surprises were super fun. Let's see what Twilight Sparkle brought us. Let's open her up. We're getting on the smaller nesting dolls. So we're gonna really require some magic. Let's give her a magical shake. A shake, shake, and one more shakety shake, shake. Whoa, who knew Twilight Sparkle could pack so much? She brought us a My Little Pony blind bag. Plus, she brought a rat's dispenser of herself. Let's get on in. Here's her little wings and her cutie mark. There's the side of her mane, and that's her face. There she is sticking her tongue out. Oh, so here's Twilight Sparkle's poster. Aw, she looks so cute. Now let's check out who is inside our My Little Pony blind bag. Ooh, she's new. Check out her cutie mark. That is a pretty cool looking cutie mark. Let's see her card. Ooh, that sunset rainbow. She loves the beach. All right, Twilight Sparkle. Those were some really awesome surprises. Now it's Queen Chrysalis's turn. She's super tiny, so tiny that she doesn't have an opening, so we can't open her. But you guys know how we handle that here. We can definitely do some magic. Oh, and there she goes, it worked. We got a My Little Pony fashion. Pop it open. It's a new pony. Ooh, and she's got a little heart for a cutie mark. Could this possibly be Lyra Heartstrings? Well, it's the end of our show. Who do you guys think had the best nesting doll surprises? Leave your answers in the comment section. If you enjoyed these My Little Pony nesting dolls, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to join the fun. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.